All right, so I just wanted to show a quick video on how to load up a uh, clown image from MATLAB. Um, then we're, we're going to also show you how to do this in Octave. That's why the two things are there. But uh, in MATLAB, <clears throat> the clown uh, image comes standard with the program. So if I just say load, uh, load clown, uh, then the data comes up. And X is the matrix that represents the clown, 200 by 320. Uh, map is going to be a map of color, or a vector of colors, it's called map, and then uh, caption doesn't really mean anything. Uh, but because um, you may not have access to this data set, I'm going to save as clowndata.map, and then I'm going to upload this to our class website, and then we will you will be able to download that from the class website and then upload it to your uh, Octave file. And so I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, so I'll go ahead and clear this out first and pretend like I don't have it. And so what I'll do to uh, load the data is I'll just say load clown data. Uh, you don't have to put the dot mat if you don't want to. Um, and then we can say, in, oh, before I do do the image, let me just take a look at some values from X just to see what the matrix looks like. So here are a few values from the matrix. And you see that they're all integers, or from this we can probably assume they're all integers. If you look for the minimum value, you have to do minimum twice. Uh, the first minimum is like, we'll give you a row of mins. So the second min will take the min of the min, uh, but we'll learn about that later. And then max, max, x. And so the colors are, or the entries in the matrix x are integers from one to 81. So there's 81 integers here, and you'll notice that map is a vector with 81 entries. So it's 81 by three. And so these are uh, holding color values. So for example, there's a 44 here. What color goes into that 44? Uh, we can take a look. Let's see, map 44. And so there are three values, and these represent the red, blue, green values uh, for the color. And each one is an, a real number between zero and one. So one would max out the color, uh, zero would minimize the color. Uh, and so you get a red shade and a blue shade and a green shade. Good. And so uh, you get 81 different colors. And once we load up the image, or once we look at the image, uh, then we can take a look to see what the map is. Um, so the command for an image is image x. And so MATLAB assumes that we're going to have some integer values then. And so it's using its default color map. So that's not the map we want. So let me move the figure over a little bit so we can see what's going to happen. And so what you're going to say, you're going to change the color map by saying color map map. And so that is referring to this map right here, this 81 by 3. Okay, and so if we hit on that, and then if you actually want to see what the colors are, you can type in color bar. And then off to the side here, you'll see the integers from 1 to 81, and you can see which uh, color corresponds to which integer. Good. So this is what's called an indexed image. It has uh, uh, 81 colors in this case. So it's very much like a paint by number set, right, where you have 81 possible paints. Good. And uh, we're going to do some other things to this uh, array. So for example, we might delete uh, all of the, uh, let's see, maybe we'll keep all of the odd rows. And so I would say b equals x, and then the odd rows would be 1 by 2 by 200. And then we'll keep all the columns for now. And then I'll say image b. And we'll see what the image looks like. And it doesn't look like it's changed very much, but you'll notice that the scale on this side is now 1 to 100 instead of 1 to 200. And so the scale has changed, but it still looks like a clown. Um, and so that's what we mean when we say things like, uh, you might have heard that images have a lot of redundant information in them. And this is kind of an uh, example of that. Okay, so that's some fun with some images. Images. Let's um, take a look to see how we're going to do this in Octave now. So here's the Octave file. I've, whoops, I've gone ahead and load, logged in. 
and so here's our class website and so what you'll do is you go down here to the MATLAB Octave material right click on the link and choose save link as and then you'll see I've already saved it as clowndata.mat and so I'll just cancel that okay and so now I'm in Octave Online and so now I want to go to that file I can find it here real quick Oop, let me pause for a second while I get it okay here's the file uh, now I'm going to drop that into Octave and it loaded it up uh, <laughs> and this you know you get weird image you get weird messages from Octave Online don't worry about those I think it's there so let's see so we said that we could say uh, load clown data and so uh, we should move this over so we can see so you can see that X has been loaded in caption has been loaded in and map has been loaded in by the way we can we can read what caption says what does the caption say oh caption just says caption okay so that's not very exciting <laughs> uh, map is the uh, the colors that you see okay we've already seen that okay uh, let me so the to clear the command window uh, the command is CLC so if you type in CLC it clears that window out of there okay so now we can say image X and so you see that the color map is wrong so we have to say color map map and now we do have the true uh, clown data okay and so now we can say like b equals x we can just take the odd whoops odd odd rows and all the columns and then we can say oh by the way if i had not put a semicolon in there what would have happened well i'll try it once oh see here what's happening uh this means that i forgot to put a semicolon in <laughs> it didn't like that okay so what we'll do is instead we'll put a semicolon and we'll clear oh no I cleared out the image well, how do I get that again load clown data what I meant to do is CLC okay now I uh, by the way uh, now I <laughs> I deleted B2 so go ahead and type in if you type in B and then do an upper oh I guess it doesn't work if you use an upper arrow key at some point you'll get your command again there we go and now we can say image B but then we'll have to do the color oh the color maps got saved good all right so there it is uh, fun with MATLAB <laughs> very good okay um, so you see how to load files into Octave Online and also how to uh, take a look at some image files good so we're going to do some uh, problems with these and um, that will be on some homework. Uh, so I guess I'm rambling now, so I will stop. See you in class.